Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty, was not one to be trifled with. When she felt slighted or crossed, she had a way of getting even that was both swift and merciless. One such instance of her wrath was directed at the unfortunate Hippolytus, a young man who found himself at the mercy of the goddess's anger. Hippolytus was the son of Theseus, the legendary king of Athens, and his first wife, the Amazon queen Hippolyta. He was known for his devotion to the goddess Artemis, and his disdain for Aphrodite and her realm of love and passion. This did not sit well with the goddess, and she was determined to make him pay for his insolence. Aphrodite's plan to punish Hippolytus was devious and cruel. She caused his death by making his stepmother, Phaedra, fall in love with him. Phaedra, unable to control her feelings, confessed her love to Hippolytus, who was horrified and rejected her advances. In her despair, Phaedra took her own life, leaving behind a note that accused Hippolytus of attempting to seduce her. Theseus, believing his wife's words, cursed his own son, and called upon Poseidon to fulfill the curse. As a result, Hippolytus was killed in a chariot accident, a tragic end brought about by Aphrodite's manipulation. But Hippolytus was not the only one to feel the sting of Aphrodite's anger. The goddess also punished Eos, the goddess of the dawn, for having an affair with Ares, the god of war. Eos, seduced by the handsome and powerful Ares, had thought herself immune to the consequences of her actions. But Aphrodite was not one to be trifled with, and she made sure that Eos paid dearly for her transgression. Aphrodite's punishment for Eos was to make her fall in love with mortal after mortal. Each time Eos fell for a mortal, she would suffer the heartache and pain of unrequited love, only to see her beloved fade away like the morning dew. This cycle of love and loss continued for Eos, a never-ending torment that served as a constant reminder of Aphrodite's power and wrath. <laughs>